So today I've got another tag with you. She walks in fury into the Today I am going to do a shopaholic tag but before I start today's video I would like to say a few things first of all congratulations to India uh, the Indian Air Force uh, who did a surgical strike on the terrorist camp of Jayashi Mohammed and uh, it happened in the early hours of morning I think around 3 a.m. or 3 30 they have said that at least 300 terrorists have died and I don't know if there are any casualties I hope the common people were not affected and see at the end you cannot just sit around and uh, I don't know you know I don't really have any much like more thoughts about this and um, on one hand Prime Minister of Pakistan wants peace and on the other hand Pakistan's military will continue to do firing even now so we all know who is actually ruling you know in Pakistan and the government is just basically puppets in the hands of the military and terrorists I just really hope that war doesn't happen we don't want war like i don't want war a lot of people sane people don't want war because it will not be good for us economically it will not be good for us we'll have a lot of casualties and we don't want people to die and you know it's never a good situation if a war happens and it's sad i mean i don't really want to rejoice about something like you know we had to do this and that's sad that actually Pakistan's military and government should have done something about this beforehand and we are kind of cleaning their mess you can say that you know cleaning their land which actually they should have done so yeah it's, it's really sad at the same time it was something which should have been done I hope they are dead I don't know if the main person is alive or not that has not been confirmed or maybe throughout the day they might have reports about it but yeah I just wanted to say this second thing what I want to say is uh, I have been seeing this assumptions video on YouTube a lot I saw Lily Singh has done it superwoman then Alex Wasabi did it and I'm sure a lot of other youtubers are asking their subscribers and followers to send them assumptions uh, that they have about them and um, then when they make a video about it to tell you whether uh, your assumptions is right or wrong about them so i think it's fun i've been asking my friends and followers to send me some assumptions so i would also like to tell my subscribers my YouTube audience please send me your assumptions about me and uh, send it to me in the comments or DM me you know we want to send me messages uh, whether it's on any of my social media handles social media pages you can even put down under this video if you want to I'll definitely note it down you can tweet it to me but do send it because a lot of times a lot of you don't participate and I don't know why you don't participate it's, it's something which will be fun so do send me your assumptions about me it can be anything I will not feel offended I will answer it definitely in the video probably by Saturday if I get a lot of uh, assumptions I would make a video by Saturday itself so it might be the third video of the week okay so please participate and send me your assumptions jitni jaldi ho sake in two three days send it so that i can uh, write it down and prepare for the video okay please participate okay when i tell you to 
do something do it so that it can be fun it will only be fun if all all of you 300 subscribers participate in it okay i hope my videos are actually reaching you guys uh, as soon as it's uh, uploaded because if it's not happening then you have to make sure that the notification bell is on okay because a lot of times uh, the youtube algorithm is like weird sometimes so i know you know if you're subscribed you should be able to see my videos but sometimes it might not happen so just press the notification bell you will be notified as soon as my videos are uploaded all right now let's begin today's video so the questions are related to clothes and uh, shopping and designers you know all those kind of things so the first question is would you consider yourself a shopaholic i used to be a shopaholic earlier a lot i would not say now i'm a shopaholic because i feel i have become more of uh, buying things only which is important and i was a shopaholic when i was in college or later on also i feel in my early 20s i was then of course things changed as i started growing up and my career's little bit it changed and definitely when you have a lot of struggles in your career you can't really buy a lot of things and i don't like to like spend my parents' money or if i have only this much money then i i don't want to i don't find it necessary to i think it comes with maturity like you don't feel that you need so many clothes and then it's just lying there so well i'm not really a shopaholic now i'm i think i'm very um, controlled in that sense you know i'll buy only things which are practical which are important do i need this pair of jeans do i need okay i can pair this this top with this this so it should be there it will not be just lying in my cupboard that's what i have become now <laughs> how would you classify your style i would say that my style is um, tomboyish definitely bohemian uh, you know something like this this is i think this is something uh, very bohemian indian elegant if i have to dress up for a party or something yeah i i am not really that sexy i feel i don't really dress up really sexily now which i used to maybe do while i was in college and because i had that kind of body it was not fit i would not say i was really fit but i had that figure of you know <laughs> something like a model and stuff so yeah so i could carry off nice thin waist and uh, really nice hips and so i could really wear anything and it would not look trashy now i don't say that when you put on weight you should not dress up nicely or in a sexy way but i think i have become more you know into those comfort clothing comfort styles so yeah I'm definitely uh, I would not say I'm I'm really into Indian wear. I've said this I think before also. So yeah, this is my style if you have to classify into it into categories. What store can you not leave without buying at least one thing? So I I may have mentioned this that these days I buy a lot of stuff online. So I'm not really sure Uh, I'm not really brand conscious as such. I'll not take a brand's name, but I'll say that I uh, really like these um, branded reject shops, which are there in Lokanwala, which are there in my area, which are there in Bandra, and it's very unlikely that you know I will not find even one thing. which is uh, branded and in good quality and what i like so i will definitely buy at least one or a couple of things from these places and they are very cheap also so you get such amazing branded stuff in these stores so i think i'm going to take these export reject shops i'm going to take their name because that's what honestly uh, you know i i have done in the last couple of years because a lot of other branded stuff or something I buy it online so I don't know I'm I don't buy a lot of things from shops these days uh where do you find the 
best deals i would say I, I find the best deals online and of course at these export reject shops at sometimes even roadside shopping or during the sales now uh, in malls and stuff during the sales if you go early i feel you'll find something good or everything might be like sold out you know all the good pieces might have been brought by other people so yeah online i feel uh, it's the best deals you can find uh, i feel i uh, recently my sister went to dubai and she got these perfumes and i think they are testers so they are really like very much cheaper from original price i don't know whether it's at the airport or at malls but yeah if you go to dubai i think just check that out you might find really good deals and uh, yeah that's all i know what designer are you willing to splurge on okay i i have never brought really a designer wear as such halaki yes even online there are these uh, certain designers who are now you know they have sometimes a lot of discounts and you can buy uh like ritu kumar has i think on i don't know if it's on jabong or uh, amazon so it is there if you want to buy you know if you are into that designer wear stuff but i think some day uh, maybe for my wedding if i get married <laughs> or if i can afford i'll definitely support small designers you know if they are my friends and uh, i've always liked manish malhotra's collection Sabiachi uh and internationally I would say Elisa like I really like the collection so if I can afford someday maybe I'll buy it <laughs> you know just to own that one designer bag or designer kapde and stuff though I'm not really into that stuff I feel that that clothes should be affordable yes if you have uh, you know a lot of handmade stuff and you know all that I feel it's fine to you know splurge on it but I I am all for practical clothing and comfortable and stuff like I wonder what happens with the wedding outfits you can't really wear it like every day you can't wear on anyone else's function so ha huh, next question is uh, do you have a go to shopping outfit shopping outfit like when I'm shopping very comfortable clothing because uh, you know you have to sometimes walk a lot and it, especially if it's on roadside markets and stuff so i would say yeah wearing comfortable shoes is important like you know sneakers walking shoes and uh, sweatpants and t-shirt jeans is fine uh, but i think sweatpants is much more comfortable because you have to walk a lot and one comfortable hoga then you have to pee or something in the mall if you eat i feel much more comfortable is you know either sweatpants and a tee and sneakers or maybe um leggings uh, with a tunic top that is a very comfortable so yeah this is what i would wear what is your guilty pleasure Okay my guilty pleasure is um sometimes just wasting time checking out these <laughs> outfits online just checking them out and not really buying especially during discounts and I'm like wow this is so cheap this looks so good I want everything I want this 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 but of course I can't buy everything but that is my guilty pleasure What is one staple clothing piece you cannot live without? Definitely sweatpants. <laughs> uh jeans also it's fine but I really like sweatpants a lot. So yeah. Uh what is a trend you hope never goes out of style? Okay. I think again I'm going to say sweatpants. <laughs> At leisure. I think yeah, that's what I don't want it to go out of style because I can just wear at leisure everywhere even at a party. And even boyfriend jeans I think that's much more comfortable than skinny jeans. So yeah. What trend uh did you love that passed away too quickly? 
I like dungarees. I mean, I think it's again in fashion, but when I was growing up, dungarees, I really liked it a lot. Then it just went out of fashion. Now again, it is, I think, in fashion. Who is your fashion icon? Okay, again, uh, I'm going to sound very uh, cheesy, but uh, I really think that my twin, Simon Sawa, he is, uh, I have said that he is a fashion lifestyle blogger and I feel somehow he is like Salman Khan I mean earlier days wala Salman Khan just pe like kuch bhi acha lagta hai you know like uh, not everyone can pull off this outfit sometimes what he wears and I really like the bold choices that Simon makes so I'm gonna say yeah you know he is a f an amazing fashion icon in my eyes uh, maybe I'm biased, but, but yeah, because a lot of uh, you know some some of the fashion designers and all, they don't make really practical outfits like you know which you can wear every day, and I feel that fashion should be something which you should be able to wear, and not just about few models and you know on the runway and couture and all that. Nah. So yeah, so that's it guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know what kind of shopaholic are you. And uh, yeah, do not forget to send me your assumptions, please. I don't care if it's too personal, I will not get offended. Just send me, it can be anything like if you think I'm like this, 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 you think I am not single. I am um, hiding my relationship. So this kind, you know, I'm giving an example of this is the kind of assumption you can make about me. And then I'll answer whether it's true or not. Alright, please share this video with your friends and please subscribe if you're liking my channel, my videos. Thank you to all my subscribers and please ask your family and friends to subscribe as well. Press the notification bell to never miss a video from me. And if you want to check out my last video, it's somewhere here. Until next time, it's bye-bye for me. Take care.